about to come <laughs> and just shake the like the world of people that want to pop their pussy. So oh my god, I am here with hip hop superstar uh, <laughs> TK Maitza. So good to have you in the studio oh. with me today, um, ahead of your new album coming out. Um, I had a cheeky listen to it, and I feel like I'm sitting on this like huge secret about Aww. what's about to come <laughs> and just shake the like the world of people that want to pop their pussy. So, oh my god, <laughs> um, it's it's gonna be so good. I guess something that I noticed like when I was reading about um, you know the release online is that the album has come after a time where you've severed ties with lots of um, old friends and mm -hmm. toxic people in your life. Um, almost like it's signaling a new era for you. Yeah. Um, so I guess I want to know what kind of like lessons or wisdom from that time have infused into, into the music. Um, I think it was about the most important lesson was you're never in your final destination. I think in that time of my life, I was like, oh my God, these are the people that I'm going to be around for as long as I can think of. Like, I was just like, I'm going to know these people for however long. Like, they're great for me. We're all growing. But then I realized they were good for a time. And sometimes the lesson you learn is your heroes become the villains that they talk about. And that was like the hardest lesson for me to learn. And it's okay. Like that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's it's all cycles and everything. And I think also the other biggest lesson was to trust myself. Um, because I feel like my intentions and my goals, although they do change, I don't think my character has changed since I was in high school. Yeah, I think we're a lot more selective now about the people we choose to keep around us. Yeah. Uh, is there is there like a new sort of cast in your life that has kind of like been a lifeboat for you, sort of exiting that sort of toxic phase? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I found a new manager. It's like I kind of surrounded myself with, uh, females more because I, I'm I'm such like I'm a girl's girl but I'm mainly like a boy's girl like I've just grown up being around so many guys and um, most of my extended family are guys so it's just kind of like that's the pattern for me so for the first time I was like I need to find other girls that are boys girls you know what I mean just like masculine females and that's who I'm surrounded by but there's like just a different atmosphere and it's much more enlightening and wholesome. A hundred percent. And yeah. I, I love how you say, yeah, I'm a girl's girl, but I'm also kind of a boy's girl. Yeah. And I feel like you can really hear that in your music because, you know, you're known for this really hard hitting, like energetic, like style of mm -hmm. rapping. But then there's also a couple of tracks on there that are, are a bit more softer toned, mm -hmm. um, which is sort of a new, a new side that... Um, I was like really excited to kind of hear this from you. Um, yeah, is that sort of something that you set out to explore with this release or it's just organic? Um, it's organic. I feel like there's a song on my album called Wasp and that was probably one of the first songs I made like five years ago. And I just didn't feel like it was the right time to release it because I was like, where did this come from? And I explored my creativity with Last Year Was Weird, made songs that were like kind of similar, but they were more harder hitting. And then that kind of opened the window for me to like dig deeper in certain windows. So it's been really fun to be like, oh my God, it's finally time for this, you know? You've also had a bunch of like fantastic guests on the album, um, Duckworth, Amber Mark, Kate Trinata and more. Are there any standout experiences um, for for you when you were working with these artists? Um, honestly, Kate Trinata was amazing. That's That's been like, that would be my holy grail of someone to work with. So going in with him and the experience being as easy as it was like it was it was like light work it was just so much fun and also like working with flume i feel like everyone that i worked with on the album it was more so about building the relationship and being friends and the destination of the song didn't make didn't matter and that's what made the songs better and that's why they were finished because we were like six months later we still believe in this song do you know what i mean it's like i 
it's very rare that I finish a song in a day. So it's really cool to have people being like, yo, this still bangs. And we're like, yeah, yeah, let's finish it. And yeah, now it's on the album. Also, so you have an amazing personal style. Thank um, you. And you know how to serve up a look. <laughs> um, and I think the style also comes through a lot in the album art and a lot of the imagery that has surrounded the music. Yeah. And I wanted to just learn a little bit more about, yeah, the art direction and what mm-hmm. went into some of those choices. Um. So I, <laughs> I studied architecture uh, for a year and I dropped out. Like my main goal when I was in high school was to be like top of the whole year for art. I came second because I got moderated down, whatever. Um, but for like five years when I was beginning music and trying to find my feet, I wasn't really in charge of my visuals. Like it was more so me getting pitched stuff. And for some reason, it just like never really made sense. So I was just like, it's cool, but it's it's not really personal to me. So when I started doing my EPs and this album, everything and all the elements are so like personal. With my three EPs, I'm on a vehicle and each of the covers, like the first one, I think the first one, ah, oh, the first one I'm actually sitting on a podium. Second one, I'm on a motorbike. Third one, I'm on a Mad Max car. And then this one, I'm actually back on a podium. But it's more so like a statuesque thing where it's like almost like an Egyptian statuesque. And the idea of that was it was meant to be like an arrival. The colors are based on the Justice card and tarot. So it's a lot of red. I'm a fire sign as well. Um, the butterfly, I have a butterfly necklace. So it's about transformation. So it's almost about like me arriving and transforming into this next version of myself. And for anyone who's listening, if you look at the cover, it's like this massive TK building with butterfly wings. And then at the bottom, there's an entrance and there's so many little people trying to enter. So it's almost like I finally realized who I am and that's where people are like flocking towards me in this like massive fiery like kingdom that was the that was the concept basically no, that's yeah sick. I was yeah <laughs> there's, there's so much symbolism and there's so yeah. yeah you can look at every small part and you'd be like oh 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 yeah and find something no I, yeah. I actually I really love that when you can kind of just like look at an image an image and always see those small little clues and symbols mm-hmm. and you can read into it to make a story mm-hmm. oh my god thank you so <laughs> much for taking the time thank and talking you. to us at FBI thank you we have loved watching your journey from the very beginning and to see you just flourishing thank you. now putting out this fantastic album. <laughs> thank you. It's full circle for us. Oh, thank you for supporting me for all this time. Like, wow.